Where is the best setting for a volume control? This question comes from Michael in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Hi, Paul. Is it better to set your DAC volume to max and then control the volume from the amp or some happy medium where it's, let's say, 75% DAC and the desired listening level from the amp? I'm confused. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Conventional wisdom, I would think, is to ensure the maximum voltage out of the DAC is at 2 volts, uh, as this is what I think most amps are expecting, thus ensuring a clean signal before attenuation. But I could be wrong. Any thoughts on this? Well, I have thoughts on everything, <laughs> including how to lose weight. Look at that. I've already lost 6 pounds. I know. I get a lot of complaints. Paul, lose your gut. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, boss. I'm on it. Yep. I've been uh, 10 days, 6 pounds. Not bad. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going to just get rid of this nasty old pot belly of mine. Uh, and I'm doing it by just carefully counting calories. The old Richard Simmons deal a meal or whatever the heck he had. And for me, I, you know what I found out? And, and we're all different. Um, I've found out that as long as I keep my breakfast and my lunch at a reasonable uh, low level, maybe a couple hundred calories at the most, that if I can make the dinner small, uh, I, I lose weight. So I'm attempting to keep each meal around 200 calories. Like for dinner last night, what did we have? I had um, low-fat cottage cheese, of which, because I'm a vegetarian, um, not a vegan, but a vegetarian, so I, I, you know, I have to worry about protein. So I will eat cottage cheese or something. Cottage cheese has an amazing amount of protein. Uh, uh, one cup of cottage cheese has is it like 30 grams of protein and 200 calories. So I had a cup of that, and I had a nice little cool salad of, of celeries and, and uh, cucumbers and tomatoes, uh, that I put a little lemon juice on, a little bit of salt. Oh, God, like kind of Mediterranean. Really good, really filling. And 200, 250. I mean, my only vice is I still like to drink wine, which absolutely has calories. So if I can keep my eating down to six, 700 calories in a day, and then I spend a few more 100 calories on a glass or two of wine, I, yeah, getting down there. All right. How did I get off on weight loss? I have no, I don't even remember what the question was. Oh, <laughs> where's the best setting for the volume control? Um, you know, it really depends on a, a lot of factors. So let's take the DAC, for instance. Modern DACs, like ours and a, a number of others, are pretty much the same resolution regardless of where their volume settings are. And mo most DACs today have volume controls. They're digital. Uh, and now the older ones, five years, six years ago, when you turn the volume down on a DAC, it did complex math that actually reduced <clears throat> the resolution of the signal. So you want to leave that sucker right up there at the top. Don't, don't take it down even an iota. But modern DACs, and I'm going to assume that you have a modern DAC like ours, you can place that anywhere you want and there is no resolution loss. So that's fact number one. <clears throat> fact number two is every preamp is different. So um, most preamplifiers, especially ones with uh, potentiometers, mechanical controls, switch <clears throat> um, attenuators and things like that uh, always sound better with the highest volume settings possible. The lower volume settings, you're doing a lot of attenuation, you have a lot of resistance in there, and it's not as good. So now combine the fact that modern DACs can be pretty much anywhere they want, anywhere you want, without loss of resolution, and most preamps, modern or otherwise, sound better at higher levels. What you wind up with is, given those conditions, you're probably fine 
turning the DAC down to 60, 70, <clears throat> something like that, to the point where your preamp can be up near, oh, when it's playing loud, let's say 3 o'clock, fairly high. So the situation, and that's, that's going to be your best sound situation you don't want to get into is where the preamp is way down here and you're you're you know got it all over at uh, 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and your DAC's running full tilt boogie um, that's usually not the best situation you want it more like this where the DAC is a little lower and the preamp is a bit higher and that will give you the best sound okay all right yep you guessed it shameless plug all right. <laughs> With apologies to if you've already bought the book. 99% true. My memoir. Uh, I really would appreciate it if you picked up a copy. Pick up the audiobook. It's really fun. I'm, I'm reading the whole thing. I mean, I am the one narrating the, the book for you. It's 14 hours. It's not, it's not nothing. So you'll, you know, when you're going to work, just listen to 15 minutes of, of Paul's misbegotten youth. <laughs> and then you'll, you can learn all about how I learned all this stuff. All my failures in business, successes, failures, heartbreaks. I mean, it's, it's a wild ride, and I promise you'll enjoy it. And I would really appreciate it if you went to Amazon and picked up a copy. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.